This is a commune. We're communists. No, God, please, no, no, no. I'm not too hot on this episode, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of uh, right there with you. It just, it, <laughs> it, you know, it was below average for me. It's just not picking it up. It's like there are good parts about it, things I like about it, but it's just boring. Yeah. That's really the best way to describe it. It's just gotten boring. It, and it is just like the pacing. Uh, it seems like it should be. I'm all for exp exposition, a slow burn, build up. I enjoy it. But man, it's just not enticing and fun. You know what I'm saying? There's parts that are, but the vast majority of the parts and the vast majority of the episodes aren't. They're starting to become that way for me. Yeah. And I think there's this, you know. I don't know. You could tell me if you think differently, but it's just there's nothing that really stood out. I mean, okay, the ending, okay, great, but I was like, at, at that point, I just didn't really care. Uh, yeah. And I was surprised. So what they did with with this episode, they were, it, it, this was like a sprint through quite a bit of the game. Um, so this opening uh, where we go back to Henry Mm -hmm. This is exactly what happened in the game where he does that it cuts to black and then it opens with them uh, I think it is actually it's like roughly three months later um, And I know some people have been like I, Let me ask you this because this is something mm -hmm. that I that I had been hearing from some people um, They weren't happy about the three months later thing because they don't feel like Ellie and Joel's relationship advancing off screen uh worked i guess or was earned i agree with will. that okay uh um, i agree with that i thought that you know it's not like i don't understand you know that kind of deal yeah like why the writers would choose to go in that direction but for me it's just i think the problem with the writers is that they thought that maybe they have endeared them already and they have it to us it's i i'm still not really that invested in them there's there's just some kind of disconnect i don't know how to put it in words but there's something from the screen it's like it seems like most of the ingredients for the soup are there but something's missing to where it's just not hitting mm, interesting, and it, interesting. it's like i think i don't think the writing's terrible i don't think it's amazing you know, but yeah. I don't think it's terrible. And it seems like this should be something that I enjoy, that I really like. And I, I've been thinking about it more and more. And I've also been talking about it with my wife. And the main thing I think is I just don't think I'm invested that I'm just, it's not ramped up. It's one of the things that we've been talking about is the pacing. It's just like you can do exposition. But to me, this should be a less of a drama focused and more of an action focus like again not that's not saying you don't have drama there right yeah but it's just more of keeping that mm, pace going like hey the infected are still the threat no matter what's going on okay maybe for an episode you take a break but then you know we're going to remind them hey the infected like how are you going to survive hey you know this apocalypse um this situation <laughs> is hard you know what i mean with the infected yeah. and the toll is taken on everyone you know, it was just kind of they used their entire meandering yeah. and just you know going and it's like I enjoy, I I I say meandering. It's not that I don't enjoy the moments. It's just when you take it as a whole, it's just okay. All we did is meander for an entire episode. That it does kind of feel that way, doesn't it? It's just kind of like they're they're a lot of this episode. Uh, to me. Feels like they're dragging Ellie and Joel just through scenarios as quickly as they can. Yep. Well, oh, we're here and we have to have, you know, this thing going on because we have to bring Tommy back into the show. And then we have to make sure that, you know, because they're headed towards something specific. Not to mention they had two, they are going to have two episodes that heavily diverge from the main plot. We've seen one and we're getting another one next week. Mm. What um, was the first one that you told me? The the first one's Bill and uh, Frank. Yep. yep. That it's like... That's right. One in the season, I get. And if you want to make it about Ellie, that makes sense. It was the DLC for the game. Whether you like that or not, makes sense to go in that direction. Um, 
there's so yeah there's I was gonna say it, it seems like on the last episode they used their whole uh like budget for the infected and so yeah. now it's just like they're wandering through these empty places and I understand that it's like I I'm totally on board and and can buy into because I think I even mentioned this early on it's like well, why aren't they in colder areas of the country where potentially uh the clickers are gonna have more trouble if the whole like body temperature thing if like temperature plays some sort of role with these things it would make sense to live somewhere where they would have a harder time right but it doesn't mean that they've even said well they're gonna be thinner in these areas they're you know it's wide open there's there's less um danger from them in these places great makes total sense to me I have no problem with that. Uh, but we just don't see any. We see none. Yeah. They're walking through all of these places, and that's because humans are the real monsters, yeah. David. And everyone keeps talking about how dangerous everything is, and then like we see a little bit of danger in isolated uh, parts of the episodes, like the you know, uh, uh, Kansas. No, not Kansas. Where were? Yeah, they were in Kansas, right? Was that right last week? Uh, yes, they were. Is Kansas that right? City. Oh, yep. Um, and. You know, it's like okay, great, yeah, that uh, infected, cool. But then we keep hearing how much danger is out here, and that guy's like, "No, you don't go beyond there." And it's like, "Where's the danger?" They they've been walking forever, and they're fine. Yeah. Nothing. It doesn't really seem like this is a a big deal for them, except when the show needs it to be. You yep. don't you don't get the random encounters that I think would kind of be good to help flesh some of this out. Though I'll say this, I I there are people I think this show hits with a lot of normal people. Yeah. Um I the have, kind that probably still like walking to <laughs> maybe. But I one of the the people that uh the company that I work for uh they're doing a job at her house. Mm -hmm. Um, she loves the show. Now she could be yeah, like I can under I can understand that. That's that's the thing with me. I can understand why some people love the show. You know what I mean? Like I, I can get the reasoning why some can. It's just for me. I don't. Maybe it's because I've seen so many. You know, maybe it's because part of it is on is the writing. It's just that you know some stuff just isn't written that well. The pacing, a lot of things we've already mentioned before, and then the other thing being that. I've seen so many, so much zombie things. I can predict what's happening before it happens. You yeah. know, I can predict the next next episode. Um, and so it's just, you know, I would be surprised if they went ahead and. Uh, never mind. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I would be surprised if how this past episode ended stays like that. <laughs> yeah. It, well, it shouldn't if they're still trying to go forward because that happens in the game. It's a little bit different. I actually so. We'll, we'll we'll get there, but it is it is different, and I may be from sort of like a realistic standpoint, be okay with the way it happened in the show, um, because the way it happened in the game, it's like, dang man, you probably should not have lived through that. Um, but we'll, yeah. we'll we'll get there. Um, so we get this opening, um, which <laughs> on one hand I'm okay with, right? I don't in, in in general. I don't think there's some anything wrong with the scene. The problem is, I just did you sit? I need you to share, or did you want to share your screen? Oh, with me? uh, shoot! If I do that now, I have to open up. A it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll okay. see if I can just see it. I'll just pay attention on uh YouTube. Okay. Uh, remind me next week or when, when we do the next one. Um, yeah, because okay. I need to, I need to do that. I need to get back into doing um. Uh, watch together yeah. uh, okay but they go to this cabin right right and I, I'm like okay this is fine the conversation's fine but there's one thing that doesn't make sense do you know what it is one thing that doesn't make sense I guess for me what I thought didn't make any sense is how chill both of them were more so the husband with him like pointing like threatening them with a the gun intending you know in all per in all purposes you don't know this man he's trying to kill you right and then when they leave they don't do anything yeah um that's I, one of the things that dropped me but what were you thinking well so i can semi buy into it 
the guys they're they're like old, right? And so I I don't think they care about a whole lot anymore. Uh, still, you know what I mean? I, yeah, I I I'm not, not dis- that old. I don't disagree. They're pretty old, dude. Um, and plus, uh, to be honest, though, I don't know how old anyone is in this show because Joel hasn't like aged at all, and neither is Tommy. Yeah, like it's it's a weird sort of thing. But how is this lady still as big as she is? <laughs> this is twenty years after society fell apart. They're clearly living off of game. Game is not yep. game is not very fatty. It, in fact, it's not really nope, fatty at all. Not. Like unless you're it's a carnivore diet. Yeah, unless you're eating like beaver tail, or you have like, you know, you're able to like feed animals that can gain fat from like grain and stuff like that. This isn't happening. If you're doing like cow, like cattle, bison, um, which bison still lean, but there's you know fat on bison, a lot yeah. more fat. You know, even if you're shooting moose, moose is very lean elk there's fat but elk is lean really lean uh again yeah i think you know game uh, i'm not too familiar with rabbit as far as the fat content on rabbit oh no yeah. no no for, it's, for the it's, most part no rabbit is not a anything that yeah. is basically eating grass and running around like crazy it's not that fat. exactly yeah you're not gonna you're not gonna get that kind of like fat content so it's like it's been 20 years and they, they've said that they've been living at this cabin Either right when all of this went down or be- right before. Check the troll room. What Jenna said. It's a thyroid condition. <laughs> oh, man, David. You're going to get me in trouble. So, the, um, yeah, so, the, you know, they go through this whole scenario and he tells them where they are, you know, and then Ellie steals from them. And it's like, yeah. it's one of those things that's like, man, you're not doing yourselves any favor. Like, it's not quirky that she just stole a rabbit from this old couple who lives out in the middle of nowhere. Nope. Like, you're not doing yourselves any favors. Like, I, with them trying to survive and that they just shot, you know what I'm saying? She, Yeah, they're just like, she, oh my gosh. They could, they, they're not doing any favors getting me to be endeared towards Ellie. Yep. You know, there's like moments. There's, like, there's moments where it happens and then something takes you right out of it. Yeah. I mean, like, even where, like, she, there's like moments where they're like, okay, you got to act like a kid here. But they, it's, it's like, they almost forget that, like, Bella Ramsey's supposed to be playing, like, 14, 15 year old, not a yep. night, not a 19, 20 year old. Yeah. Um, You're not endearing enough, not kid like enough to I understand it's apocalypse. I think they just lean too hard until they're irreverent, rebellious. Uh, distru- distrusting type. Yeah. Um. Most of this was fine, of course. Joel, because he, you know, I wasn't. I oh. was. Oh, dude, I was on the fence about the whole him being kind of incompetent thing. Yep. And I was like, I'll forgive you for like the one time with like the Sam and Henry thing, but dude, this episode. This is this honestly I would say this episode started to worry me, and like they're headed towards exactly what I was telling you. Dude. I think they're headed towards. And yeah. they're, they're going to make it, they're going to try their best to make it seem more plausible. And it's he's just, oh, go ahead. like, he's just weak. You know what I mean? Like, he's weak. Again, again, it's not like you can't be, have, again, okay. You can have moments displaying your protagonist, right? Oh. As, as having weak moments, but still, need, you know, I don't want to do this. I hate this, but I'm still going to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate what I'm having to do to survive. Yeah. Dude, I, uh, that's fine. And you can show the, you can, you know, show the emotional toll that is taken in, 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 in many different aspects. The, the, the harden, hardening of the heart aspect. Yeah. Along with the, he knows his heart is hard, has, has hardened and it's tearing him up inside. Yeah. Because, and he's oh. done horrific things. And it's just like she's constantly leading the charge on things and knows better. I'm like, dude, she's 14 years old. She doesn't know. She's not supposed to know anything. Yeah. She has very little life experience compared to him. Not only that, dude, but uh, they now have given Joel anxiety. Just (laughs) six episodes into this, we're now learning that Joel has anxiety. Uh, And it gets worse as far as I'm concerned. Um. But yeah, so they do that whole thing. They're like talking, and he, uh, you know, by, on the, at the campfire, and it cuts, and he has fallen asleep on the job again, and he doesn't even have a real excuse this time. 
Yeah. But at least I I was on board with like before because it's like well he stayed up that whole time to protect Ellie and so he was trying to get some sleep trying to cover his tracks um and he just got outwitted in that moment like I I can I'm fine with that but now it's happening again and you know he starts to to talk about how like weak he is later on in the episode which we'll get to but it's ridiculous yeah it really is ridiculous it's just you know it it can't you can't help but wonder what the motives is behind it are you trying to tell a story a genuine story or is your goal something else yeah because it's so apparent with a 14 year old kid and it's like there's no way she had that more than likely she would be doing this i understand like that progression and character development of her becoming more capable in, in certain situations but you it can't be at his detriment and his ability to be masculine to lead to protect um, provide for her all these different all these different things you, you know it's just the more of the laid back uh passive dad approach almost uh yeah yeah and then so they they go across you know just a completely desolate area they run into nothing the entire time no infected no other people yeah, just, that's the other thing just easily walking through this world somehow and I'm like, they took the freaking bridge dude <laughs> the wide open bridge I, yep. I was telling kayla i was like dude the last place i would take is a bridge that because it's it's a there's funnel. only one there's one entrance and one exit yeah you could see get totally screwed going across a bridge like that without being incredibly careful yep um but it doesn't really matter in in this universe so uh this dam just so you know joseph is the actual setting of where joel and tommy meet in the game um and this is the first thing that i'm talking about where ba- I, I, I think i said trappings which i think works but the the dressing of what was the game yeah this is like the first instance of that oh, in, wow. in this episode where they just go oh a dam and then they move on it's like, oh, it's not because it's just now. I'll I'll give them this. Maybe finding an actual like hydroelectric dam to film in might have been difficult, and I would have been yeah. willing. I would have been willing to concede a little bit on that point if the rest of the episode had followed what ha- actually happens when um, Tom, uh, Tom, what am I saying? Joel and uh, Tommy meet. <laughs> um, and it, and it works out similar to the game, uh, but it doesn't. In fact, they just get rid of. Okay, so this is what it reminds me of. Uh, you you you've seen all the Harry Potter movies. Yep. So the Half Blood Prince. Do you know that? I'm not sure if you know. The movie is notorious for being considered the worst because they cut out the awesome like end battle at the end of that book. Oh really? Yeah, that's this episode. To me. Oh, okay. So, so why is that? So in the in the game, and I, I know we're jumping ahead just a little bit, but everything that, to one degree or another, a lot of the stuff that happens is somewhat similar to the game. Like there, that scene that's later on where um, Ellie is like, you know, Joel, you're the only person that I, I actually um, trust. trust. A lot of that is somewhat similar. It's a little bit different because they've compacted that whole section of the game into like 30 minutes of the show. Uh, and it's like, eh, the, you know, they could have done a whole episode about uh, the, the stuff going on with Tommy's uh, commune. Um, and uh, they, they don't. So they, they go through this whole thing. He meets back up. He asks Tommy, Tommy to take Ellie and then they get attacked by hunters. Um, and it, it would have been great. Like we, ne- we need some, this dude. It's like, some of the same problem that Halo had where it's like why does this not feel like Halo yep you know and then no don't don't get me wrong the show is definitely better than Halo <laughs> but that that idea of By like far. why am i watching a show called Halo where a lot of the show has no action like we're we're not getting the the, the kind of stuff that you would kind of want that 
yeah, you could call it fan service, but it should be more action oriented. And I'm not saying that The Last of Us has to be quite that action oriented. Um, I think you can do a nice mix of the drama and the action. But at this point, the action is just it's kind of there and it's like over before it even began. You know, it doesn't last. Mm-hmm. It doesn't last that long. Um, there's no real moments of like danger because, you know, they've taken out a lot of the scenarios. Again, I'm going back to the spores. I'm still a little bitter about it. But they, they don't have these moments where it's like, man, we got to crawl through this building to get to where we're going. Oh, there's a whole bunch of infected in the basement. We got to be really careful getting through here. You know, yeah. that there's no tension. It's like, oh, man, we need to get to, to, to where Tommy is after these two people in the wilderness told us where he was. Guess we got to start walking. Nothing happens. Oh, they finally run into the people. Mm. And so it's it's yep. like, uh, you know, and then. I don't think anyone thought anything bad was actually going to happen to them there. Um, But did you pick up on how dumb this situation was? I'm just curious if you if you caught the the issue. How dumb the situation was with with, with the dog. So they get surrounded by the, these people, yeah. and then the dog comes up, and they they're like, "This dog can smell if you're infected." <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, because isn't she? She's still technically she's still infected. infected? Yeah. It, yeah, she comes she, she just, comes up I mean, positive. It doesn't affect her. Yeah. yeah, she comes up positive on the little like. Thing. That's what I was thinking as well when when I saw it. I, I thought it was strange that the you know the dog didn't start barking, but I don't know if they're you know maybe the leeway I can give them is that since she is immune, I, I don't know. That it's it, hard it, to wrap your head around that yeah. one. <laughs> it, it, and it's just like like I know what they're what they're trying to do with the tension or whatever, but I don't know, man. Like. Maybe the drama would have been better if they did find out about her and they like locked her up for the episode or something. Yeah. I don't do like something other than, oh, everything's good. Let's take you on a tour of where Tommy lives for half an hour. Yeah. Right. Um, so, yeah, they uh, they head into this town for anyone that's played the second game. A lot of this is going to look very, very familiar. And depending on where you fall, you're going to have very different opinions about this situation. Um, here's Tommy. Hasn't aged a day in 20 years. Uh, I think they actually put a little bit of gray um, around where his ears are in his hair. Uh, oh, but other than uh, it up. Yeah, but other than that, he looks exactly the same. Um, you know, they have their their little moment of, yay, you know, we're, we're back together. Um and then they're eating. Um, stop me if there's anything you specifically want to talk about, but I don't know. Oh, they have this like really awkward conversation. Um, about oh, hang on. Before I say that, uh, I know you haven't played Last of Us Two. A right. lot of people think that girl who, when they're eating, and Ellie looks up, and sees her like hiding behind the the like pole or whatever. That's Abby. No, no. Uh, a lot of people think that that's um, Dina, who is her love interest in The Last of Us Two. Um, uh, it has not been confirmed or denied currently. Um, okay. I. Um. <laughs> that's interesting. And and depending upon where you fall with that game, you'll have very different feelings about Dina. Um, not to mention a lot of the people in this town because if they follow pretty close beat for beat what happens in the second game uh, you'll learn very quickly this town is full of dummies and <laughs> people who make illogical decisions all the time but you know that's what that's, that's what, not that's what happens when you're in a quote unquote commune yep um also isn't it weird that the pregnant lady is out on raids yeah you know when he said that she was pregnant i was like why would he let her go out on a raid. Wouldn't that be a detriment? You know, could possibly uh-huh. slow not, not people only, down, putting you know your wife and your kid in danger. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Uh, make like, sure well, makes Tommy look like a a a, a good guy, right? Uh, don't worry. Uh, it's probably gonna get worse in the next season. Um, 
There is <laughs> there Druckman has a a thing for putting pregnant women in danger, I think. Um Ooh. Yeah, yeah just, definitely just wait, dude. Missed the mark. <laughs> <laughs> they blew their aging budget on Bill. That's a good one, Zax. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's probably her. I don't know if that's... I, that seems like what they were going for. Um, but they have this this whole conversation, and uh, Tommy's wife is quite unpleasant through this entire thing, um, which is weird because in the game, she's actually... Up until the moment where Joel wants... Or, like, wants Tommy to take um, Ellie... Uh, she actually is like quite open and friendly with Joel. Um, and then she gets angry because she, she's like, well, we're having a child and you now want to take my husband away and put him in danger and potentially him die and leave me alone. Like it's real. It's like logically it makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. Clearly Tommy doesn't feel the same way in this version of it about his wife going out and like hunting down strangers you know, yeah. but again, this is this is the show, and uh, you know, people just seem to be okay. Like it, it, it's not that it just doesn't seem to be a big deal to them, and I, I just, it, it's pretty hard to believe. No, I, I agree with you. Uh, this whole commune deal was. <laughs> uh, we can talk about it. Let's just get because they're about to say it. Yeah, um, let's do it. So this is why what I started. What do you think about it? This is why I started putting it in time. They're not a com. They're not communists. Their their society is not like okay. It, it, this is why it doesn't make sense, right? So, and I I I looked it up because I was like I should check the terms, just try to get like somewhat of a definition. Now, typically in a modern setting, which is probably what the viewpoint of this writing is going off of, um, mm-hmm. communism is generally considered like Soviet Union, communist China, North Korea. Um, these are places where force is essentially used uh, and to make everyone quote unquote equal. That's like a modern understanding of it. What this is is more of a collective uh, for two yep. reasons. One, they um, they do believe that like okay, we all we all everyone has a job seemingly. Um, except for the children, but everyone has to work. They share the loads. They share the burdens of different things. They they seem to share food as, 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 as along with responsibilities. Um, but they also barter and trade with each other. Because literally, like in the next scene, a, yeah, it's yeah. like coming coming up. Right, Tommy comes in with a pair of boots and he says, "Hey," he says, "Either I traded or I bartered with someone for these." I'm like, "You're not, you're not communists. That's not how that works." Yeah, I rolled my eyes. <laughs> I was just like, oh, brother, really? Yeah, you know, I'm just, you, you know, we got the scene with her, which we already had oh. one, her getting that cup from Maria yeah. for her period. And I was just like, guys, we already had one. We know she's a woman. She gets her <laughs> menstrual cycle. <laughs> we don't really, you know, does it really matter that we explore <laughs> the difficulties of that in a oh, post apocalyptic r- world two times? Uh, like, yeah. One time I can understand. Make a mention. Like, yeah, you make a mention of it and then you kind of move on from that. It doesn't on, it like, doesn't have to be like this defining thing for her. Like Dude, this Zach- spectacular, wonderful. Yeah. Um Zach's yeah, made a good was- point that says, um, she was a district attorney 20 years ago, so she's got to be 45, 50 and pregnant. Mm, that is a good point. Right? Like, you don't, typically, you don't become a district attorney without being maybe even in your 40s. Yeah. Like, that's not an easy thing to come about. Like, you could probably, I, I mean, you could bend it a little bit and be like, sure, 30s, 35. But he's right. Like, that's, that's, that's crazy. Um, but it doesn't, it, like, the, the logic doesn't matter in the show at this point. Um, no. So yeah, we get our our. Where is it? I just want to read this. If uh, da, 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 da. handful gated community turkey shoot. Oh, they have their multi faith uh, church. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that's going over well. Because of course they do. Uh huh. 
Oh, they also have a dem- dem- democratically elected council. So please explain to me how that's communism. Right. I I I'm very confused. It's, it's I'm more very confused. Of a, uh, democratic socialist communism. Uh-huh. Government, David. Yeah, um, okay. Okay. With bartering, because I guess that's yeah. you know. Uh, you see, right here it says, uh, livestock all shared. Collective ownership. So communism. Uh, nah, and then you know he's like, nah, it ain't like that. Uh, it, and then she says, it is that literally. This is a commune. We're communists, and it's like I don't even know if I, they're not really a com. A commune is typically run by one leader, right? Yes. I mean, like, listen, I'm willing. I, what I remember, if someone is able to give me a a well thought out, wordly, like wordly, <laughs> a, a well thought out, um, explanation as to why this is actually that. I'll be willing to take the L on it. But it just like everything that they're saying flies in the face of what she's saying. And to me, it just makes her look dumb. Yeah, I think it's more of uh the writers trying to enforce and enforce enforce their perspective on things and to make it work within the story without really kind of understanding. Um and it's 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 interesting too how they were all just willing to let Joel take a horse. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it's like the uh, the bill scenario. Time, <laughs> it's in a time where that's extremely valuable. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you're taking a, you know, something else, you know, something less valuable, but I imagine a horse would probably be extremely valuable. And, you know, unless it was like Tony's horse to give away and Tony's giving away his horse and now he doesn't have a horse, that's a bit different. Yeah, Tommy, um, Tommy, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Tommy. You're, you're good. <laughs> but Tony Soprano. Yeah, I was uh, laughing at that. Um, we're constantly getting a remi- like they, you know, they have their whole like brotherly thing. I don't, I don't know. I, I, for the most part, the two of them together in that first scene, that's not the thing that bugs me. Oh, look, he's having another panic attack in this episode. For a second, so, when, the, when he got the first one, I was like, is is he uh, heart, having a heart, heart attack? Issues. And then they said, yeah. and then they did the freaking um, panic attack. I was like, oh, brother, come on. At this point, he's having that. And you just gotta buy into it. Okay, whatever you say. Yeah. So he's having a second one. He thinks he sees his daughter. You know, or like the the okay. So the way that it was explained in the in like the after credits, like everyone trying to tell us the stuff that may or may not actually have been in the show. Um, but this was I, I get this. It's like he he thinks he's seeing her, but then they were saying like he's now having this like thought that this could have been what happened if Sarah hadn't died and she has her own kid now or whatever. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just like what? Like I don't know. He's supposed, dude. He's supposed to have bottled up the stuff with Sarah, and Ellie is supposed to be his redemption for that. Like it's, you know, kind of ridiculous. If you ask me, but who's asking? Yeah. Um, so then, yeah, that you, you know, she gets her little like thing because we have to be reminded again that she is girl. <laughs> um, Dude, I was laughing at she, that, and yeah, she gets a haircut. I, like, I don't know. When, any like genitals can tell us. Um, uh, cause Jenna would probably know, is, is this supposed to be something very significant and impactful as a woman, Jenna? Is it nice to see this on screen? You can let <laughs> us know in the troll room. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, uh, Ellie gets a haircut. Oh man, that'd be a good title for this episode. Last of Us episode six review. Ellie gets a haircut. Um, yeah, that pretty much described that. Then we get this scene, which is, dude, this whole like th- he just like where they just are like, 
having a second conversation about this whole thing with Ellie. Yeah. And Joel basically just sobbing and talking about just like that he can't do it anymore. And I'm like, poor little beefies. Does it? This came off very contrived to me. Mm. Because even what we've seen of Joel previously, it wasn't until this episode that all of a sudden he's having panic attacks. And now he's like, oh, I can't do it anymore. Uh, Tommy, you're younger than me. Take care of her. Like, he just starts doing this whole thing. Oh, yeah. And I it doesn't... Oh, gee, you know, yeah. you can go by yourself and do it. You'll get there by, without me. Oh, <laughs> don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, just... I don't know. They're doing... I'm, I, I just don't understand why they based this episode off of Jenna. Um, as far as with Joel's concern, the characterization. <laughs> yeah. Um, they are absolutely setting up uh, Joel's golf game. Yep. For sure. Pretty pretty hard, I think. Um, and I it makes me think that they're setting up the whole, like, he's tired, you know, he's worn down, and he's sad and miserable, so that when that happens, you're then supposed to be like, but remember when he said that he he had basically given up, and like that's going to be the thing that is supposed to be good enough for us to be okay with what happens. Um, Great. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait, dude. I think that's going to make the show fall flat and fall pretty hard, too. Mm -hmm. Do you? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much there with you. Uh, so we get this whole thing where Ellie apparently, over- I missed where she was listening in on them. She was like wandering through the street. Mm-hmm. And I guess you're supposed to assume that she ran into them. Cause that's the only shot where she's like walking in, in the street with all the lights and then yeah. it cu- it cuts back to them. I don't remember. That was a bit odd, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't remember them ever making it clear that she had done that. And then all of a sudden she's upset because she they overheard. Didn't make it clear. Okay, so it was not. I don't think it was clear. Someone can argue that yeah. it's fine. Um, it did not seem like that was very clear. They to me can until argue they said it, it, but they would be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so they have this whole conversation about how she's like, "You're the only person that I trust." Um, this is kind of what I was talking about. I was like, "I'm not sure the show's really done enough to earn this." I, I don't know. I'm sort of neutral on it. Yeah, it, it was. I, I don't, bit, it was. It was odd. Yeah. When, again, you did. We had no idea to know that she had listened in or to kind of indicate that because she was just wandering through town, and maybe that's on editing. You know, maybe that scene got edited out, but that would also be on the directing as well and everyone else. Yeah, it was just odd. And and this seemed kind of less natural and more forceful. It's like the first you know, time we need to get to this point, so we're just going yeah. to do it. Is this the first time they've shared like a sincere moment with each other? From what I remember, well, I guess the room can correct us, but the Henry and Sam thing, I guess. Well, I think yeah. the first probably sincere moment would probably be with Tess, and then Henry and Sam, and then this. Henry and Sam more so. Like Tess was the whole situation with Tess after she died probably like a tad bit and we really yeah. didn't get to see much um but henry and sam was more of a i'm caring you know more of a, a, a caring wise and then you know this was a more heartfelt one like more direct yeah um they get a horse they're told to go to colorado state um because that's where the fireflies are supposed to be um okay so i actually liked this scene I'll say that where he's teaching her how to shoot. Yeah. And she's like, I don't know. I can't do it. You know, it's like, Oh, there's something off. And then he, uh, he like nails the target. Yeah, it was a good scene. I like that. Also, the shot's actually pretty good too, with the sun coming up. Uh, I enjoyed the, too. The horse is like being... silhouetted. Oh yeah. That was a great shot. I, I liked that. I enjoyed the, uh, the shot with, uh, as has a hole and has a uh, bullet through the H. I was like, okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, like, that's what I'm saying, man. There's like the 
there are quite a few things. Set design, creature design, a lot of the set locations work pretty well. And that should be complimented. I mean, like, hey, th these it seems like a lot of the people on the show are doing a really good job, but I'm, I'm not attached to this story, um, which is really funny. Can You know, and I we've said since the beginning of the show, I was like, I am biased towards the game. I, mm -hmm. I am over trying to feel like, oh, I'm, I need to try to disconnect myself from it to see how I enjoy the show. Like, I just can't do it. I just can't. When you have something that's already well written and you just deviate from it because it just bu it just bugs me. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm right there with you. It doesn't make it doesn't make much sense, especially when the original author is working on it. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I understand like when you're making trying to make it better. It's just I just don't think this is from or you just don't think this is better. Whereas with me, I feel like something is missing. I, I would agree. I don't. I, I think so. I, it, it's a very like uh, I, the the word that I want to come to mind is sort of like like heart or the passion behind the project. And it was like I was telling you before, we're like Druckmann. And it's just a theory. I think he kind of hates the first game, or at least he hates the the culture around it, mm. because everyone likes Joel. And I'm not sure it, it it's it's one of two things. Because we had talked about before that there was another guy whose name is slipping my mind right now who helped work on this. And the question is, how much of a play did he have in it? Yeah, and the way that Joel was in the game versus what we're getting now, um. How much did Druckmann play a role in that? And did Druckmann think he was doing one thing and accidentally accomplish something else? Mm. Because he and we'll talk about it when we get to the last to the last episode. That's a good point. Yeah, there's a couple decisions that are made in the game, toward, like at at the end, towards the end, um, and the way that Joel is characterized in the game, that a lot of people are, I'll say this, they're on Joel's side. At the end mm -hmm. of the game, and Druckmann, I don't think he didn't see it that way, mm. and I think he is like upset that that is essentially like the dominant opinion, yeah, about Joel. Um, so I can that see where you're coming from with that, yeah. <sighs> um, so yeah, they end up uh, here in Colorado. I believe this is supposed to be Colorado State. Um, yeah, it is Colorado State University. Safely going through the campus. Out to the Bighorn. Yeah. <laughs> safely going through the campus. They find some monkeys, which is actually in the game. It's actually kind of a cool thing because she's like never seen monkeys before. And again, dude, the stuff that we I've I've talked about with Ellie in this, where what I really wanted was a bit of that like childlike wonder caught up in a very grim uh dangerous world where there's essentially like death is like always kind of like right behind them you know uh and even in all of that ellie is finding these moments to be like oh my gosh monkeys i've never seen monkeys before and you would expect that out of someone who's in that like young teenage range um, exactly. you know, she likes comic books. She sees the Mortal Kombat arcade machine, like that stuff. Most of it is from the game. It it works really well. It's just like every time they're not doing that, she's like almost like comically cursing, yep. or or being just like insufferable towards Joel. And you would have thought, especially after the stuff with uh with Henry and Max or Henry and Sam, excuse me. I, I, my, the, like, game properties, there's this, like, game called Sam and Max, and so, like, I, my brain, my dyslexia, um, they're, they're sort of, like, and that's what I'm saying, it's, like, they're, they come into this campus, and it's, like, it's not a problem until it all of a sudden is, like, there's not, doesn't seem like anything's happening in this world, whereas in the game, when they go to, uh, the college, they have to go inside the building because, again, they're looking for the fireflies. They're trying to figure out what's happening here. They're uncovering um, what may have gone down uh, at the school. 
And part of it is that they Joel has to go down into this basement, and there's like a bloater down there. There's a bunch of like clickers and other infected. Um, and in this, it's like, oh, okay, we go in. Oh, they're not here. Oh, oh no, three bad guys. <laughs> if only yeah, we, you know, if only we had guns. You know, even you mentioned earlier, like, well, maybe they blew their budget on the last episode with the infected. But my <laughs> whole thing, even with that, is this. It's like, couldn't you have just done prosthetics and done it in a way that's not using CGI? Um, and, 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 you know, you lessen the budget down some to at least have their presence felt throughout each episode. The infected just kind of seem like it's like that threats, you know, always or not always there is there some, but kind of just more in the background. Yeah. And for me, it's just, I don't think was the way to go. Yeah. I don't know, man. You know, they do the monkey thing again, which again, they're like I was telling you, so the monkeys are from the game. It almost works out exactly the same way. I, I like the way that the college look. It's very reminiscent of the game. In fact, it, the game may have taken note from Colorado, Colorado State, yeah. right? Um, th- so the, it's great. Like, this is what I'm saying is that the the set design the there's a lot of attention to detail in a lot of the things in this show but the, which is really good which is great yeah it's awesome that that's a thing um i, I just wish it was in something that i actually cared about more yeah. than i do this it, this it, i waffles I, I waffle from sort of just being back in this place where like okay this is fine to why are they doing this or like what like it's that kind of stuff and this episode is mm-hmm. for me is just heightened with a lot of that uh more so than the rest um and it just seems like we're we're starting to head towards that descent just this is kind of that that first sign of of that being the case it really does seem that way doesn't it that's um, just going down more and more uh joel probably also would have told her to put her gun away when she was doing that but i'll just i'll leave that alone Stop pointing at the map with your gun, Ellie. Yeah. Um, so they're escaping. Everything seems good. Joel, of course, isn't checking uh, around yeah. to make sure. Yeah, like, oh, dude, they have to be making him incompetent on purpose. I, I don't. And what's weird, right, is that early on the show, like, would you say he was pretty competent? Mm-hmm. I need. I would need to go back and watch the first like two episodes again. He seemed pretty fairly confident. S- it seemed like he knew what he was doing. That he confident, that he always had say. kind of a plan. Confident and competent. Yes. And now he's like, oh, we're running away from like what I believe is three people, four people. Both he and Ellie are armed. They're running for the horse without really checking around to make sure those guys aren't around. Which I'm also willing to bet that if he if for four people you're telling me that you wouldn't have been able to like they they obviously i don't think it says that they like that they heard or knew that they were there so they see these guys out the window i it doesn't even give you like an audio like a uh a subtitle cue for what they were saying so maybe they knew they were there and they just left the horse alone and so they went to go look for him probably could have still snuck around four dudes easily like and that's what I'm saying is it's like there's just not that we we had the episode from last week is probably the biggest moment of like a major threat in the show other than maybe when they were getting away from Fedra in episode like 1 and 2 um yeah. in the click in in the clickers but like I don't know they've mostly handled everything really well and this guy ha- I know that Joel isn't is hard of hearing but it's one of those things it's like dude he, this he seems like the kind of a, a guy that should be able to adapt to a scenario like that. He's very careful, very cautious. Like, why doesn't he look behind him? Why isn't he looking around to make sure everything's okay? Getting Ellie to do certain, uh, it just, it's just frustrating, Urgy, doesn't it? Yes. Um. Yeah. So, uh, he gets in a fight with this guy. This is reminiscent of Game Two. I can't believe it took them six episodes to do a a a, a, a what I would call a uh, classic Last of Us chokehold. Um, kills the guy. Now, 
one of the things I want to look at, this was something I wanted to sort of like break down while we were like live. So they go out here, they're sneaking towards the horse, they get on the horse, or they're, he's putting his rifle away, the guy comes up behind him, he breaks his bat on the tree, okay, I guess he does stab him right there. I just wanted to, it happened so quickly. Anyone with any common sense knows you wouldn't pull that out. Also, like Joel would have to know that. Oh, yeah, Leave yeah, it yeah. It just seemed yeah. like it seemed very contrived. I couldn't imagine a situation where Joel doesn't actually know that he's not supposed to pull out, um, you know, the, the object when you get stabbed, right? Yeah. The sharp object. And just for those out there, you get stabbed with a knife and it's left in you, you don't pull it out. You go to the hospital with it then. Uh, and I'm going to say this. He, this guy swings That's in. Not medical advice, by the way. <laughs> Yeah. It, oh, dude, it's actually worse. But, it's actually worse in the get in the game. So he falls off of a, like a second story, and he lands on a rebar, and then he pulls himself off the rebar. Oh. <laughs> Which I'll I'll say like that was a misstep on their part. Like they should have figured something else out. Uh, right. And and they're going for sort of the thematic and the dramatic tension of now the main character is on the verge of death. So like, and, and right. to be honest. In something that's good, right? I'm willing to kind of be like, okay, we're just going to go with it. For the scenario, we'll go with it, even if it's somewhat unrealistic. Like, the game has been, you know, so on point with a lot of the stuff that it's doing so far. I can let this slide. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I mean, I, I wonder if he changed it because he figured the guy, like, getting stabbed with part, or, like, Joel getting stabbed with part of a baseball bat might have been better. Um. Joel probably should have just pulled his gun out and tried to shoot this guy before he turned around to do this um it's quicker this is still better i mean man this is still better than a lot of the other stuff that we like fights that we've talked about before in shows like rings of power or other stuff like that way better dude um Uh, and and again but here's the thing it's like when i'm watching the last of us i'm making it a point like to not judge this based off of what we have previously watched you know what i mean and that goes both ways um, but w- what I mean to say that is, is I think it's fair to point out what you're pointing out, right? It's a yeah. lot better than Rings, Rings of Power. It's a lot better than Halo. It's a lot better than anything Marvel's put out, like because their writing is trash. But as far as I don't want to elevate it, I, I still want to just judge it be based off of it being a TV show and not in comparison to the other stuff. Sure. Because when that happens, it's like, well, of course. I mean, the bar is set so low with this other stuff. Anything's gonna look. Most anything should look better than that. Yeah. And I just think like, you know, the ingre- again, the ingredients are there in this show. It's just not working for me. L- like the first yeah. two episodes, I really enjoyed. The third one is when it's like, guys, why are we going off this tangent? Like this just seems purposeful. It doesn't seem like it's story driven. You know, world building is just, you know, and obviously the director came out and said what he said regarding it um, about you know, wanting to trick the audience into watching a, a gay love story like that hasn't already been on screen before. Oh, uh, so uh, many times, yeah. Oh, look, here are his friends who this guy like randomly walked away. Yeah. Okay. And also, they barely, and none of them have a, a handgun. Like, am I am I being too nitpicky by saying it's really convenient that his bat broke that way? That he oh could, yeah, he could then use it as a shiv to stab Joel. Uh, like, yeah, I don't think there's. <laughs> I don't think being I'm never one it's quite convenient of those people <laughs> that is like well this is nitpicky it's like it right. could be something that it doesn't that doesn't destroy the story you know what I mean yeah. like you pointing that out I'm not but saying it's something I'm something to pay attention to I, yeah right? I'm not saying that that like, I'm oh, not that's, nitpicking that's interesting. it's more of a, like a lot of people don't notice I do and yeah. I did a lot of people don't notice the car that's in the Fellowship of the Ring in the background in the Shire. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, at one point, it's like, okay, I'm pointing that out. Is that does that ruin the Fellowship of the Rings? No, but it's there and it should be called out in, in both ways, you know. Hmm. So they get away. Joel falls on the ground, and you're supposed to believe that he's probably not going to make it. And that's one the, could only hope. That's all the, he does is spend this episode going, "Oh my fifis, oh my fifis." <laughs> I'm putting this. Sh- this is hilarious. <laughs> uh, putting that on the Man. the cover. 
<laughs> um, you should just you should put coming out of his mouth. Oh my fifis. <laughs> Ow. I'm too again, I'm too I, snowy I, to I, carry I, on. Yeah. I enjoy the emotional part. It's just like this it, it, it's it's just because he's so weak. I'm like, guys, y- y'all have already like y'all have already written a lot of weak male characters. Like it's okay. He doesn't have to be weak. I mean, he, there could be weak things about him. I'm not saying he'd be a Mary Sue, but he just really I don't know if incompetent is the 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 word to even say or maybe just stunted. Like they put a governor on his character purposefully. Hmm. Like just something that's blocking him from from going. You know, I don't know if they're going to use depression or he's lethargic. Oh, he's just, or he's just like apathetic. He's got just, he's know. got anxiety. It, there, instead of being someone who, though he is very strong, very capable, um, he doesn't care much for people. The same because so in the game, right? Though that's kind mm-hmm. of his characteristics. Um, even with his relationship with Tess, um, he boards himself up, and it when she dies, it is the first moment where you start to see a like a little bit of a crack in his armor Mm -hmm. which is good because that is something that helps endear you to that character his his weakness does not have to be that he has anxiety he's deaf in one ear and he's like a sad boy who doesn't want to go on with life anymore um right he now the event over time ellie becomes a reason for him to live and that's very vital to that story um and you're getting some of that, but it's just not that consistent. And to introduce now six episodes in that he's got crippling anxiety, <laughs> if you're gonna do it, at least it, it, okay. So I'll say this, and it's because I I, I I'm having I I it's, I'm having a hard time being generous with this. It seems like they hid that for six episodes, mm. or for the first five episodes. He seems mostly competent. As time goes on, there's like little things that you're like, well, why is he making so many mistakes or making these kind mm-hmm. of decisions? Um, but you're like, all right, at least there's some sort of explanation as to why, like I was saying before with Henry and Sam, that he didn't hear him coming um, because he was so tired from staying up all night protecting Ellie. Great. Totally fine. Um, but as we got into this episode, all of a sudden he has a ton of extra problems that were not there previously. That weren't present. Yeah. The, yeah. So I, I, it's just, it, it's, it's odd. It is odd, and again, I think what you described is probably a better way to to tell it. To where you get this, you get these episodes of a really strong character, and then after you've really established him and Ellie too, uh, then you start to see the kink in his armor, right? Yeah, uh, and, and maybe like you, you can see you thread like from the first episode going out, you know these. You know, you you see a a slight tear, but then you it really just you have one episode to where it's really poignant, um, just something. You know, it, it just the more the episodes go on, the more it's getting more closer to being mid to me. Like it started out yeah. great, and it's been a decline. Okay, yeah, that's that's how it's been for me. Enjoyed yeah. the first two episodes, uh, and then from that point, it's just been going down. Yeah, and Max in the troll room says strangely. Strangely, this show is better than I expected it to be. Some redeeming qualities, and I like the fact that it exists, so we can compare. And we have YouTube vids and stuff. I agree. You know, I see what you're saying with that. There are some redeeming qualities. Uh, again, that's the, what frustrates me is that the ingredients are there for this to be great mm-hmm. in every episode. To it, but it's just not clicking for me. I think the main problem is it's just not ramped up enough it's more focused on the drama and less on the action i think you need that existential threat of the infected like their presence there yeah yeah and like really terrifying not like the walking dead to where it's like oh i'm a zombie and it's, you know they walk like two miles an hour um, <laughs> yeah they're, they're they should be more cautious and i don't know it just it it's like they really I, didn't want to make a zombie thing which is a lot of what people think with the last of us 2 that it's yeah. like the la- they the cuz in that the infected take a major back seat and we have been talking about that early on in this show and it 
kind of seems like that's the case. Like they they just don't think they're that important. Um, and mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just like I. I don't know. Why am I supposed to worry? Like, this is supposed to ramp up to, like, something that's pretty harrowing for Ellie. Like, not the next episode. Well, I'll save my opinion on that until we see the next episode. Um, but that one, it, at least from the game's perspective, like, she's supposed... The next one is supposed to be somewhat of a harrowing thing for her as far as, like, what she goes through. Because um, it's a prequel, the next episode. Right. Um, it takes place before all of this. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And then the following episode is, you know, is supposed to be like from the game's perspective, it's like in the game it for Ellie, it is like the moment where she finally has to like step up. So like Joel's been taking care of her, which I'm not sure they've done a very good job in this of really like distinguishing that um mm. because it seems like Joel keeps like failing at what he's supposed to be doing and she's like stepping up in that. And yep. so it, it kind of is going to take away from the fact that now that Joel is actually seriously hurt, she has to step up and take care of him. Um, and mm. she's like totally out of her element, but going, you know, it's supposed to be that like Joel has kind of showed her enough. And this, the show's telling us that he has, but I'm like, I don't know if that's really the case. Like we finally got a little moment in this episode of the two of them um, shooting together. And I'm like, that's great. But like, she still can't shoot. So like, <laughs> what are we doing here guys um yeah so we'll see we'll see we'll see you never know um but yeah uh i don't have much else to say about this like i i'm pretty much with you i it ended and i was like okay that was an episode like thanks for trying to convince me that communism is a great thing <laughs> yeah, right and it's it's one of those things man that it's like you know what that line was it was the the same thing as that that uh that line that Catwoman had in the Batman. Oh yeah. When she said something, didn't she say something about like white privilege or yeah, something, something like, like that. that? And you're like, where it was really forced. It was in there. It's like it doesn't really make sense for the story. Uh, and you're like, if I take the time to explain this to you it just makes you sound dumb like you don't know what you're doing or what you're talking about it's almost the exact same thing 